with our constant multiple rule, we kind of get a mini rule out of it. So this mini rule applies to if you have a constant multiple, but you don't have x to the n. You just have x to the first power. So it either looks like this, or most of the time it just looks like kx. We don't typically write the first power. Well, what if we followed the power rule with this? We would say that we're going to keep the constant multiple k and bring down the power 1 and subtract 1 for the new power. 1 minus 1 is 0. Well, anything to the 0 power, you could try it in your calculator, plug in 50 to the 0, 9 to the 0, 85 to the 0, anything to the 0 equals 1. So we really get k times 1, which is k. So the derivative of kx is k. So when you have x to the first power or just a regular x, you don't even really have to think about bringing down the power and subtracting one for the new power because when you bring down that power 1, you're just going to end up with the number that was in front of x. So for instance, which we're going to do 4 down there, but for instance, if you had 2.92x as your function, if you try to bring down that power 1, 2.92 times 1 is going to stay 2.92. And then if you raise x to 0, that's a fancy way of writing 1. Anything to 0 is 1. So the derivative of 2.92x is 2.92. Running through these other mini rule examples, you have g of x is 5x. You could try to bring down the power, but if it's x to the first power, the derivative of 5x is 5. That's our mini rule. The one below there, h of x, the derivative would be h prime of x. Derivative of 902x is 902. Derivative of 2.92x is 2.92. Derivative of 5x is 5. Derivative of 902x is 902. Following this pattern, you have f prime of t, a different letter. But if you just have a first power on that, the derivative is just going to end up being the number out front. Derivative of negative 8.25t is negative 8.25. And lastly, the derivative of 1x, a regular x here, derivative of 1x is one. That's our mini rule. Derivative of 52x is 52. Derivative of 98x is 98. Derivative of negative 2.145x is negative 2.145. It's going to be whatever number is in front of x. So not really its own rule, but just giving it a special shout out, our mini rule. If it's just a regular x, the derivative ends up being the coefficient in front of the x.